Hi guys, welcome back to Code Switch. PDFs are everywhere. So how we can easily generate a PDF out of an HTML? So if you have an HTML string, how can we convert that HTML string into a proper PDF with proper settings? So how we can do that is what we are going to explore today. Now, before that, if you don't know how to convert a model class into an HTML, we have a dedicated video for that. So I recommend you to watch that video. Let's start. All right. So I have a function here, generate HTML, where I can pass a student instance and it will generate HTML for me. So if you don't know how I write this, you can watch the other video as I mentioned previously. So first of all, let's initialize a student object. Okay, so the new student and I'm putting the name, first name as iron and last name as man. So I'm creating an iron man. All right, and let's set the age to something like 44 something. All right, so now we have the model, right? Now let's pass this model and get an HTML. So let's create a uh, variable to store the HTML like var html equal to generate html and then we can uh, pass our student that's the model our model and now we got the html right so now we have the model setup let's await it and let's uh, uh, change the name of the function to async because that's a common notation to show that this function is an asynchronous function right so now we got the html now what we need to do so in order to do that so we need a library that can do the conversion of HTML to uh, PDF. So that's why we have to set up the converter. So in order to set up the converter, let's go to NuGet. All right. So now from the NuGet, we need to install a library called Drink to PDF. So let's search for Drink to PDF, and this first one is our library. So now let's install the library accept the license all right now the library is installed now let's close this now let's set up the pdf converter right so let's create a variable converter let's new converter all right okay so let's pass in a PDF tool into this as the argument. Okay, so now that we have set up the converter, now let's create few options. So let's set some options. So these option, options we pass before we generate the PDF. So let's create a variable like, uh, uh, like options. And this option is actually an HTML to PDF document. So let's initialize the class HTML to PDF document. All right. Now in this class, we have two options like global settings and objects, right? So first of all, we are going to define the global settings. So put a global settings and in the global settings, we can define the color, orientation, paper size, etc. So let's set for the color. So you want the color to be in the color format, not in the black and white. All right. Now let's set the orientation. So orientation equals orientation. So orientation can be portrait or landscape. So I'm choosing the landscape orientation. Okay, now we can set the paper size so in the paper size you need um, we can set the size of the paper so paper size equal to paper uh, i think uh, okay i think it's paper kind i think so let's take the paper kind paper kind is uh, a4 uh, yeah there we go a4 all right so now now is the important stuff here we need to set the output part of the pdf so I'm going to put this on my desktop. So go to my desktop. And here I'm copying the location of the desktop. So this is the location for the desktop. Okay, let's paste it over here. Okay, now that uh, we have these slashes over there. So let's change the interpolation operator to at the rate operator. So that we do not need to deal with the hash. Now let's put a slash and put the name of the PDF. So I'm going to put test.pdf 
so now that we have set the all the global settings so now let's go for creating the objects so let's open an objects and in the objects we can define a new object settings so let's define the object setting now in the object settings we usually define the count uh, the content and all this stuff so let's define the pages count so do we need to show the pages count yeah so let's put it to true now that we need to set up the content of the html so let's let's take the html variable and put it over here because we already have generated the html so let's put the html over here all right now this uses a web rendering so we need to set up the character encoding of the web settings so let's open uh, let's set the default encoding so let's set the default encoding to utf8 okay now we can set up uh, headers and footers and all these things so let's let's set up few header settings so i'm going to create few header settings so that we can have a line on top and all these things so let's define the size of the font and all these things so let's say font size 9 or 10 or something like that let's say, say 10 okay and now we can set up um, do we need a line on the top yeah we need a line so let's let's uh, set the line on to the true and let's we can define the margin spacings and all these things so let's define the spacing to uh, two three four uh, three let's say let's say three okay so this is all we need to do and let's put a semicolon over here all right so now we have set up all the options now we can start the conversion so in order to start the conversion we need to invoke the converter and pass the options so let's say converter dot convert and pass our options so this is all we need to do now there is an important point before running this application so in order for this this uses actually uses p invoke method to generate the pdf so that requires this dll so this i will put the link of this dll in the description so let's copy the this uh, external dll go to your project on your root of the project just paste it now go to the properties of this dll and we need to make it copy to the output when there is a change so let's change it to the copy if newer all right so we have done that now we can start the application now let's save it and let's start the application and let's see if we can convert that html into a pdf okay so i'm running the project and it's running now let's go to the desktop so in my desktop i can see now the test.pdf is generated here let's open it all right now i can see all my pdf in landscape mode with the color with the header lines and everything so this is how it need to do thank you